Sam, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Yes, I feel like we're on like TV or something. I know. <laughs> Live with Sally and Dane. Yes. In the Cupcake Jumper studio. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. So it's us, obviously, Sally and Dane. Yes. Um, Sam <laughs> is on the camera today, making movie magic. And we've also got Jess and Nikki, who are also making magic. <laughs> um, this seems to be... This seems to be on. We've got a little iPad here. Got a little so we iPad. Can see all your comments Sorry, coming there we go. At the same time. <laughs> you can also see us, it's very confusing. <laughs> but um, yes, we're going to bake with you today. Yeah, oh, so did you say Gemma's at home? Gemma? Oh, no, I didn't. Gemma is at home baking. It's her birthday today, so happy birthday, Gemma. Yes, happy birthday. <laughs> and I believe she's baking with little not so baby Eden anymore. Yes. Little Eden. Um, <laughs> So yeah, you are also baking with Gemma, she is there too. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we'll like call in and see if she can like speak to us a bit later on. Yeah, see how her bakes are getting along. Um, and if you don't know, that today we are baking muffins. Yes, We're for Mother's Day. Yes, for Mother's Day. Well, we Day. thought it was a good idea, to, or a good opportunity to bake something together to give to our mums tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe my mum will get them. I'm not really sure. I will well, take them. I will take I them I might also. have eaten them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so if you don't know, um, we have a Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Cupcake Gemma. And yes. over there you can join the Bake Club. Um, there's a few different tiers. And each month you each get... Each month, yeah. So usually we do these live <laughs> bake-alongs over exclusively on the Bake Club on Patreon. But today we thought we would bring it just here live on YouTube so that everyone can join in. Um, and <laughs> Sally included. Um, but on the Bake Club, when you join, it is um, exclusive. So it is behind a paywall, but it's a great way of supporting us. And you get exclusive content. You get early access to the videos that we upload here on YouTube every single week. Um, you get the live bake alongs. We do one every month. It's towards the end of the month. And the next one we're doing is on March 23rd. And you also get the written PDF recipes of each recipe we do every month. So if you're ever like, some people comment and they're like, oh, I really want like this written up and how do I follow the method? Because then I have to go through the whole video and write it down. Well, if you join the Bake Club, you get that. Nikki creates these beautiful PDFs and they have amazing pictures and the steps are written up very well and you can follow it along so there. So you don't have to actually watch us, you can just... <laughs> <laughs> Join the Bake Club and then you can read it along. Yeah. Um, um, cool. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> but there's also another tier, which is Cookie Club, and you get all of the same things, exclusive content, bonus content, all the recipes, live bake-alongs, but you get sent a box of our NY cookies every single oh my month. Gosh. Like, cookies every <laughs> single month through your door. You don't have to Fresh think about it. Fresh cookies too. They just arrive. Yeah. And they're so, the best. Everyone knows they're the best. They're they the best are the cookies. Best. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we crack on? Let's crack on. Hopefully you guys have all got your ingredients ready. Um, we posted the ingredients list a couple of days ago, so yeah. hopefully you're all prepped and ready to go. It's really weird looking at this screen because it's, it's me and you. <laughs> 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 Hi! <laughs> um, I'm going to ignore myself. <laughs> and we're going to start baking. Um, yes. So the first thing that we're going to do is make this streusel topping. Yes. Um, which I guess is kind of optional. Sort of. It's optional, yeah, but it just gives a nice crunch to the top of the muffins. And it's almost like a bit like a shortbread, like a pie crumb mm. kind of um, element to it. It's really delicious. So Guilty, delicious. Like, I'll admit it that... This is the kind of thing that I just like to eat. Yes. <laughs> Before it's baked and after it's baked. Um, but it's really, really easy to make. So, should we get going? Yes. I feel like, it's bake along, let's get baking. Yes. So, we're going to start with some sugar. So, we've got brown sugar here. So, we've got light, soft brown sugar. If you don't have it, you've just got caster sugar. Don't worry. Yeah. It'll do the job. We just like to use brown sugar because it's got a little bit of like a caramelly flavour. Yeah. Um, and we've got 35 grams of that. And we're going to put it into a bowl. Um, whatever bowl you like. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just the bowl. And then we're also going to put in some flour. So we've got plain flour um, and 35 grams of that as well. So just sprinkle that into the bowl. Get it all in there. And a little pinch of salt. Not optional. Not optional. Not optional. Salt, salt. brings out the flavour in yes. everything. And also it is actually quite nice to have a little bit of like a salty like kick when you bite into mm. the top of these yeah it's yummy please Definitely. do it <laughs> so just a pinch of that and then some butter so we've got some um cubed butter here we've got 25 grams of it which is unsalted i mean maybe if you've only got salted butter that would be fine maybe yeah. just leave out the salt because yeah. we don't know how salty your butter is <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, butter does not salty at all. It's so, not. Right. <laughs> That's all going into the bowl. And now yeah. we're going to just use our hands. One of my favorite things. <laughs> I love it. I love doing this kind of thing. So first of all, just sort of toss the um, ingredients together. So you're kind of coating that butter in the flour and the sugar. And then we're just going to like rub it between our hands. It's yeah. like you're making a crumble, isn't it? It is like you're making a crumble. So you kind of want to break the butter up. You're kind of smushing it into like flat pieces as you smush it against the butter and the sugar. And then it will kind of break up and just make magic with the dry ingredients <laughs> and you'll get like little nuggets we're not yeah. quite there yet I'm no it takes a little ahead. bit of a of time but this yeah. is one of those things i just really like to do like i find it's really like it's so calming kind of calming and, and mindful and there's no there's, there's nothing else you can do but just stand here and and rub just rub it exactly <laughs> be at one with the ingredients <laughs> yeah so as you start rubbing the um the kind of flour will hydrate a little bit so it will start looking a little bit dusty and you can see there's really no technique to this we are simply just rubbing and just rubbing. rubbing yeah um and just keep going like don't feel like oh it's not working keep going and it works it will and um, if you do follow us here on the channel and you love the recipes that we do, you might also have seen that Sally does mindful recipes that are basically like this. They're very simple, use little, um, little equipment. Yes. <laughs> and it's just, you're just getting down with the ingredients and they're really simple recipes, but so delicious. And it's one of those ones you can just carve out an afternoon and yes. just really just get into it. Yeah, it's not like a stressful, like, oh, I'm going to make like a three-tier cake. Yes. And you're like, oh, <laughs> cancel all my plans for a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a prep. It's not like that. You can make it in a couple of hours and have something really delicious at the yeah, end. Totally. Yeah, totally. That's, that's what it's all about. I think baking is making something delicious and having fun whilst you do it. Exactly. I'm having fun right now. And I feel Me like too. my... Um, Drizzle is starting to come together. Yeah, so you can see it's them. not looking like powdery anymore. So now we just want to form some kind of clumps so you can start squishing it a little bit more between your fingers um, and it's kind of forming nice little clumps they don't need to be too like big because remember they're going on top of muffins it's not yeah. like we don't want massive pie crummy chunks but also if yours isn't coming together some flowers are a little bit different they have different um hydration rates and you can add a tiny bit of water to bring it together um but this is looking good yeah do we have a little bit of water? I might add some to mine. If um, not, I'm going to use this you water. You use your water. I'm going to use this water. <laughs> Just like at the tiniest bit, let me use this spoon. We can dry it off. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'm just using a quarter teaspoon just to add <laughs> the tiniest bit as we go. If you add too much water, then it's just going to become a paste. And no one wants a paste to go on top <laughs> of their muffins. That won't bake at all. Right, I'm going to finish mine there. Perfect. So um, you can just leave it in the bowl like this, but we've got some little tins here um, and I'm just going to sprinkle it into this tin. So there's a few different size chunks in there, which is going to look really nice on top of our muffins. I'm just going to spread it out. Are you ready? Oh yeah, this ready. looks nice. Yeah, so Lovely. mine's just come together a tiny bit more. Beautiful. There we go. So what we're going to do is just pop these in the fridge, just because we kind of warmed it up quite a lot, um, the butter, when we were working with it. So we just yeah. want to chill it out a little bit until we use it. So put it into Pink Smeg. Ooh, yes. <laughs> the main Thank attraction you. of the studio. <laughs> Honestly, whenever people come to the classes here, I think the pink snug is like one of their favorite things. <laughs> when they get to put their cake in the fridge, they're like, in the snug! And we're like, yeah, in the snug! <laughs> it is pretty cool. <laughs> right, so let's just have a little, a little tidy up. So we can get rid of all of these yes. things. So just bung them to one side for now. We're just going to chuck them down there. And if you need to wash your hands. This is the moment to do so. <laughs> this is the moment to do so. We have a little bowl under here. <laughs> we do have a sink just behind Sam, but it doesn't, it's fake. No. And it's yes. times like this when you really think, oh, I wish actually we did take the just effort to make that an actual <laughs> sink. <laughs> but alas. Yes. Okay. Let's give your hands a little rinse. Right, how's everyone doing? Is everybody? Yes, is everyone everybody... following along? Where is yeah. everyone from? Where is everyone joining from? Yeah, tell us. Let us know. We've got a cluster down there. Okay, right, whilst you do you. that, I'm going to get all of the next ingredients ready. So we're both doing the same base muffin recipe, but we're going to split it. Well, actually, we're doing separate 
separate bowls. <laughs> we're doing different Good flavors. Job, Kate, on that muffins. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. We're doing different flavors. Sally, what are you doing? I am doing raspberry and dark chocolate. Um, mm. You know, as these are for like Mother's Day, we should be doing what our mums want. Thing is, my mum actually can't eat these because she's got celiac disease, and I didn't make any gluten-free ones. So, love <laughs> 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 you, mum. Uh, so I'm going with what I like, and I like raspberries and dark chocolate. Well, I'm going with what I like. And I think also my mum likes this. I'll ask her tomorrow. Um, I'm making lemon and poppy seed ones. So I've got multiple lemons here. We're not using all of them. Um, and poppy seeds. That's for yeah. you. Very simple but fresh. And a classic combo. It is a lot of lemons, Mickey. Just, yes. It looks nice. Um, <laughs> for my lemon centerpiece that is on the was, side of the table. <laughs> it's also fancy many eggs, but. Yes, but. It, 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 looks, looks, it, looks, it good. looks good. It looks good. He got yes. a bit excited with the. I did, I just haven't got all of the eggs in just there. Just going to get all this stuff out. So that's yes. the, our eggies. All right, so are we good to go? Is everyone ready to start making the next? The muffins? Okay, yeah, fab. Awesome. Brilliant. Alrighty, so muffins are so easy to make. They're like, bung it all in, mix it together, bake it. And, you know, like we just said, we're making different flavours. They're, like, they're so versatile. Like, yeah. I know some of you, I know Gemma at home is doing blueberries and white chocolate. Um, you can put all sorts of different fruits and berries in there, different chocolates. You could even put nuts in there if you wanted to. So it's kind of like you have your base and then you personalise it a little bit, which is nice. Yeah, definitely. So. Let's get started. Let's get started. So we're going to start with sugar. Yeah. So we've got white caster sugar here. You can use granulated sugar as well. And we're just going to put that into a big bowl. Well, something like golden caster sugar would be Ooh, nice as yes. well. That would be really nice. So now we're going to put some lemon zest in. Even if you're not doing lemony flavoured um, muffins like Dane is, um, it's nice to put a little bit of lemon zest in there because it just kind of gives it a little bit of a lift, a little yeah. bit of an extra kind of... Um, depth, I guess, <laughs> to your um, muffins. So I'm just going to do one lemon zest. So we've got some lovely lemons here. Obviously, yeah. if you don't have lemons, then don't freak out and be like, oh, I'm going to have new lemons. <laughs> it's okay. okay. <laughs> so I'm going to zest one. How many are you going to do? I'm going to do three. So I want it to be quite pungent. And we're doing... Pungent. Pungent, <laughs> yes. And we're doing it straight into the bowl because when you zest lemons, so we're using one of these microplanes, which is a really fine grater, and they're super sharp as well. You can use a box grater, sometimes it has the small one on the side, but sometimes it kind of matches the zest up a little bit, and you don't get all of the nice, just colorful zest. You get some of the pith as well, and it's not as nice. Um, and doing it straight into the bowl just catches all, all of those squirts of the oil from the yes. lemon that come out as well, so you get maximum flavor. Maximum lemon flavor. Um, and once it's in there, however many you're doing, I'm just going to let Dane continue oh, yes, to zest. Oh, yes, continue. Um, we're going to, again, get our hands involved a little bit. And I'm just going to start rubbing these together. Again, it's not like an essential step, but what it does is just helps the sort of graininess of the sugar rubbing against the lemon zest. just helps to really pull out those oils and that flavour. And it's already smelling so delicious, It smells delicious, really good. So, how many are you doing? <laughs> Two, three. I'm oh on my, my second one. Gosh. No, but I've, I've absolutely Classic cleared the Dane. lemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lemons are expensive. Well, actually, they're, they're not that expensive. But listen, you want to get all of the zest. If I say three lemons, don't be doing two and a half because <laughs> you get lazy. <laughs> So yes, okay. three lemons. Right, I'm going to leave mine there. As well, oh, orange yes. would be so nice. What about like grapefruit? I'm thinking Grape that would be nice. Yes, but sometimes grapefruit has that. Well, if you make grapefruit curd, sometimes it has a bit of um, a funny taste. Oh. I can't think about the taste. But you, I just said orange. So funny, because I remember now, I, I had a dream Is last night. Funny? No. Oh, no. Here we go. No, I had a dream <laughs> last night, and I haven't told anyone. And, and Nikki was in the dream. You were in the dream. But basically, you just, Nikki just bought some, like, biscuits in, like, these finger biscuits. And it was almost, I don't know, they were kind of like short ready, but like a bit chewy. They were so nice. <laughs> and you just put a bit of orange zest in them. <laughs> and I was like, these are so good. But I can't remember who I thought made them. It was someone else random in the dream. But then I was like, oh, did you just put, I turned to them and I was like, oh, did you just put orange zest in? And then Nikki was like, yeah, I did. And I was like, oh, you made them. So I didn't know. Anyway. Wow, guys. Orange 
This is it. just a little insight <laughs> into what we have to put up with. This is a, literally every day, this is a classic Dame Pemberton story. Yeah, except I finished this one. Like zero punchline, just... Zero punch. <laughs> yeah, but you're laughing along, so clearly it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. Orange Finger Biscuits by Nikki. I think, that well, that's I think we, we need to. Yeah, you know, we need to. That's, that's the next bake along. <laughs> that's the next bake along. Oh, right. He's done. Oh my gosh, that looks tap. beautiful. I've got so much lemon zest in here. That looks so nice. Yeah. Mm. And um, now I need to do the same as Sally and just rub it together so you get all of those lemon oils mushing with the sugar and just bringing out all the flavour. Yum, yum, yum. Makes me think of um, pancakes. Lemon and sugar. Oh, yes. The only topping on a pancake, in yeah. my opinion. No, classic. Classic. Exactly. Right, well, right. So, I think I'm done. Like, it doesn't yeah. take long. Okay, cool. So next we're going to start adding more ingredients, starting with eggs. So we're going to do three eggs. Um, we've got some eggies here. Um, as usual, we're going to crack them into a separate bowl, like so. I know, I did it just for you. <laughs> <laughs> on a one-hander, yes. I nearly didn't, but I thought I'd go on. <laughs> it's Saturday. It's Saturday. <laughs> um, exactly. So I'm going to crack, or we're both going to crack three eggs into a separate bowl so that we don't yep. get any shell into our like main mixing bowl. If you get any shell into your bowl when you're cracking the eggs, best thing to do is just use a bit of eggshell to yeah. scoop it out with. It kind of like sticks to it. Otherwise you like end up like putting Poking your finger in. in there and never and gets out. Yeah, it's so globular that it just ends up falling back in time and time again. So <laughs> just get the bit of the shell. We did actually do a video. I, mean, I did a video on how to separate eggs. Many different ways. Well, there's like three different ways in the video. Many different ways. <laughs> <laughs> Through Ooh. the shells. Yeah. Um, so your hand. Your hand. Uh, you just scoop it out and the yolk will be in, in between your fingers. Or you can use a squeezy like plastic bottle. Oh yeah, and it sucks it up. Like, yes. Quite strange. That is a bit of a risk though. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> right. <laughs> so now you should have your three eggs cracked. And we're just going to tip it into yep. our eggy, sugary, eggy, sugary, lemony, sugary <laughs> 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 mixture and start mixing this together. So with a whisk, just by hand. Another reason why this is such a great recipe because you don't need any like fancy equipment no. um, and like electric whisk or anything. We're just going to whisk them together and we're not looking for any kind of like um, particular texture or consistency. No. We just want to mix it all just up until it's them. consistent, basically. Yeah. Doesn't need to be pale or fluffy. Pale and fluffy. I feel like look how I mean, beautiful mine's and like yellow it is because yeah. of all that lemon zest. That's exactly. gorgeous. Am I still not? Nice. This is still yellow. <sighs> James is always better. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 we both never do. Right, are you ready? Ready. Okay, so next we're going to add in our milk. So we've yeah. got 250 ml of whole milk. If you haven't got whole milk, that's okay. But, but when you're baking, you always want to use like the highest fat content in anything, whether that's butter, milk, cream. Yeah. It's going to add so much more richness and stability to your bakes as well. Because if it's not milk, it's got it's water. Yeah. <laughs> we don't really want to put too much water in our bakes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to pour this in, um, and if you can, do a little bit, and then stir. If you can sort of, maybe we should have put something under our bowl. Oh, yes, do you need some? Mine it's isn't like moving, a, but yours is a little yeah, bit right. round on the bottom. That's okay, I'm just going to use my oh, stomach. Yes. Oh, the, post <laughs> the posture changed. <laughs> <laughs> she went like this. <laughs> I went like this, and I was like, it with my belly. Right, so we're just going to keep on adding a little bit of milk and stirring it through. And it's just going to start loosening it up. It'll mix in really easily. Again, we're not looking for any like particular consistency. We're not trying to whip air into it or anything. No. We're just mixing. There we go. Lovely stuff. Yeah. Oh, yes. Shove it all under there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's all mixed. How's everyone doing at home? If you can comment in the comments on the side or below, let us know. Are you following? I mean, we've got loads of I've comments I've got loads here. of comments, but there's no way I can read that. Well, like I'm that. all the way over here. <laughs> I need to put my glasses on, so you'll have to read them. Most people are just saying hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Brilliant. Right, so let's do the next thing. So next up, we've got oil. You can use any kind of oil that you want to use. We've 
gone for a light olive oil because it's actually quite nice to get a little bit of that olive oil flavour yes. coming through. Um, but if you've only got veggie or sunflower, totally fine. Yeah. Even if you've got like extra virgin olive oil, fine. That Don't would worry be really it. nice. Yeah. <laughs> but probably not something like um, walnut oil or sesame oil Ooh, yeah, or peanut strong. oil because it's strong. quite a lot of oil yeah. in this recipe. So. So again, we've got 250 mils, and we're just going to. You can see how we're like. This is called streaming. So we're just lightly pouring it in, um, whilst we're whisking at the same time so that it all kind of emulsifies. Yes, we're Te streaming whilst streaming. <laughs> oh my God, we are live streaming right now. <laughs> so we're just going nice and gently and this way the um, oil is going to mix into the um, eggy milky mixture nice and consistently and it's not going to split. Don't worry if it splits, like lots of people worry about like mixture splitting and stuff. Yeah. Um, as soon as we start putting some dry ingredients in, it's going to be fine. Exactly. Pour, 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 pour. This mixture is glistening and it's shiny. Looks beautiful. Right, so. Oh, oh sorry. Well, <laughs> I was waiting for you on the milk and now you're waiting for me on the oil. Right, you can see it's all mixed through and it's looking well, <laughs> what's it looking like? It's just looking like a yellow mixture. Yes. It's it, smelling nice it, from the um, lemons. Yeah. Very fragrant. So now, that's all of our dry, uh, wet ingredients. So now we're just going to start mixing in our dry ingredients. So I'm going to yeah. give you a sieve. Thank you. Always sift your ingredients. Um, you know, like there might be like clumps of flour in that. I know you can get like some flowers and stuff that says like already sifted. Yeah, sift, like, yeah. What? Doesn't make sense to me. Yes. Always sift your ingredients. So we've got plain flour here, 375 grams. I'm actually going to use a spoon because I put it in a very small bowl. We're yes. going to start by putting just half of it um, into our sieve. And we're going to mix it in in two halves just because that way it makes it easier to combine. And then we're not kind of overworking um, the gluten. As soon as your flour hits your mixture and you start mixing, that's what activates the gluten. Gluten obviously, well obviously, I'll tell you. <laughs> gluten um, is what makes things nice and stretchy. So like in bread, when you're kneading, 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 you want it to be really nice and stretchy um, and springy. When we're making cakes, we don't want chewy, springy cakes. So we just want to go nice and lightly when we're mixing in our flour. So using the whisk to begin with still, just very lightly mixing this through. Don't worry if it starts looking like it's a little bit lumpy or something, like don't worry, all is going to be fine. Just make sure you get all the way around the sides of the bowl and around the bottom as well. Yes. Let's see what's coming along, it's lovely. Coming along, yeah. It's gonna start thickening as well and looking a lot more like a muffin, <laughs> a muffin mixture. <laughs> Um, once it's almost combined, we'll start, we'll add the rest of it in. Remember, we don't want to like over mix at this stage. So if it's looking a little bit lumpy at this stage, don't worry. Yeah. We'll go in with the rest of our flour. And then before we sift this through, we're going to add in our final dry ingredients. So some baking powder. We're going to do two teaspoons. So when you're um, measuring a teaspoon, fill it up, level it off. So we're going to do two of those each. And that's going to go to you. Thank so you. lots of baking powder in these because these are going to get nice and kind of airy and fluffy and poofy in the oven. Yes. Two of those. And okay. then also a little quarter teaspoon of sea salt again, filling it up, leveling it off. And again, that's not going to make them taste salty. It's just going to really draw out those flavors, especially that lemony flavor um, or whatever you're putting into your muffins. Yes. And, and try and use sea salt as well um, rather than table salt because that's a really harsh flavor. And sea salt just kind of rounds everything off. It's a lot more subtle, but um, it's just a nicer flavor. So sea salt if you can. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So once that's all in, again, we're going to start just slowly, slowly combining that flour into the batter, nice and slowly. There we go. Mixing it up a little bit. Now, if you're going to be adding in some um, additions, as we call them, <laughs> well, that's chocolate chips, nuts, fruit, we're not going to completely mix this until um, it's totally smooth because we're going to mix again in a minute. And remember, yeah. we really don't want to overmix these. So I'm going to take my whisk out. I think I'm going to do the you, same. Okay. 
Okay. Yes. Cool. Right. What are you going to do? Well, I, only ha I have less to add in than you because I only have some poppy seeds. So I'll just do mine now. Um, I've just got poppy seeds. Ah, they go everywhere because they're so small. <laughs> um, just a tablespoon. That's all. Because as you can see, there's thousands in that tablespoon and they will disperse. <laughs> And you don't want it to be too, like, you know? Yeah, I know. And they yeah. get in your teeth as well. They get in your teeth. Mean. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to fold it through, switch to a spatula, because um, we're not, like, trying to... I mean, most of the lumps have worked out now, so <laughs> we're just folding it through. And as Sally said, we don't want to overwork the flour that contains the gluten, and then we'll get, like, chewy muffins. We want nice, fluffy, soft muffins. We do indeed. So I am going with raspberry and chocolate um, and I'm chopping some chocolate. So if you've got chocolate chips, then go ahead and use that. But if you've got, only got a chocolate bar, that is also fine. And actually, we really like to um, use chocolate bars, especially in things like cookies and muffins, because you get that kind of like irregular shape from the chips. It looks really, really nice. So I've got 100 grams of dark chocolate here. If you want to do milk chocolate or white chocolate, then by all means go ahead. I feel like Sam is looking at me and getting worried about my knife skills. I'm not the best with a knife. Um, so <laughs> I'm doing my best. So I'm just chopping them up until they're sort of like chocolate chip size, but they're all different. It's going to look great when it's baked. That'll do me fine. And I'm going to scoop it all into my batter. In it goes. And then lastly, I've got some raspberries here. So fresh or frozen, doesn't really matter. The only thing I am gonna say that we should do is to break them up a little bit like this in your hands so that you don't, so they go further and you don't just have like an entire raspberry in your muffin. So again, I've got 100 grams of these. If you're doing blueberries, 100 grams of blueberries. Yeah. You could put like chopped up bits of strawberry in it maybe. Ooh, blackberries. Rhubarb is still Ooh. just in season at the moment, so that would be nice. Although that would be nice if you like roasted it in the oven a little bit first and then like folded it through as like a stewed rhubarb. Mm. Just chop some up, put it on a tray, a little vanilla, maybe a little bit of sugar, uh, maybe a little bit of lemon zest or orange zest. Um, you get an extra That's recipes it. today. Yeah, simple, simple. Simple. Roast right. it in the oven for like for 10 minutes. Um, gather it together, it will all be a bit mushy, and then put that in, and you'll just get these streams of rhubarb, delicious. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't want to like, <laughs> like mix it through too much. No, you'd want like a ripple well, kind yeah, of. Yeah, come and look at this. So now I'm just going to, again, very lightly fold it through the mixture. Don't like go crazy with this because you can already see how some of the colour from the raspberry is coming out. And if you mix it too much, it's going to end up like a sort of a weird grey green colour once it's baked and it's just not going to look very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I love the like the chop the chopped up chocolate makes it all really kind of speckly and, and irregular. That's looking beautiful. So Fab. ready? Well all that's left to do is yeah put them in the okay. cases. Let's just clear a bit of this away. Um, we've got a regular cupcake case uh, tin here, so 12 holes. If you've got an actual muffin tin that's like deeper, then fabulous, that's great. Um, and then we've got some cases, and these are actually muffin cases yeah. rather than the cupcake cases. They're just a little bit taller. Um, but if you've only got regular cupcake cases, that's totally fine. You might have some extra mixture. That can just go back into the fridge until you need it. So again, it's just a, such a great recipe because if you've got... Too much mixture, you can save it, not a problem. Exactly. So pop that all into your cupcake tin. And now as this is like super runny, if we try to like scoop it, we're gonna make a dreadful mess. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're probably still gonna make a mess, to be honest. Oh, no, 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 coffee. <laughs> <laughs> sure. um, so we've got some jugs here and what we're going to do is just decant a little bit. So one jug full to start with. Scoop that up. <laughs> oh, yes, it's great. I love the little I speckles. Yeah. Um, and then we've got a spoon here, a teaspoon, dessert spoon, whatever size spoon you want. And we're going to start filling. Now we want to fill these up quite a lot because muffins are supposed to be really 
big and like got a beautiful kind of round top to them. So we need to put loads of mixture in. So here we go. Don't worry if you do make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun. That's what it's all about. Yeah, there we go. So you see how I've gone, what's that like? Oh, Half a centimetre like... to the top? Yeah. Yeah? We don't want to go all the way to the top, remember, because we have got our streusel topping to add yeah. on there as well. So just go nice and slowly, edging it in with the spoon. Oh, I have started to make a mess. <laughs> 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 but that's fine. Scoopy scoop. There we go. Also, let us know in the comments what um, flavours you guys chose to bake, if you're baking along today. If you're not, then, and you're just watching, then hello. <laughs> <laughs> you can share photos as well with us on Instagram. Um, if you use the hashtag Cupcake Gemma, we will see them. We would love to see how your bakes turn out this morning and what yes. you used. So once you've kind of emptied your jug, then we're just going to refill it. I absolutely refill. love the look of this. So beautiful. Oh, you filled your jug up a little bit more than I did. I have one less. <laughs> See, now I've, I've done this one quite full. Do you think that's a little bit too full? Should mm, I take some out? Maybe just show people that you can have a scoop a little bit out. Just yes. Do. Nice. There we go. Just like that, what a pro. <laughs> <laughs> so, just going to keep on filling, filling, filling. And actually, you'll probably find that this is maybe more than 12 muffins worth of mixture. Um, I normally get about 14 from this batter. So you can, if you've got a second tin, great, lucky you. You can bake them all at once. If not, like I said before, you can just pop the mixture into the fridge um, and then wait for your muffins to bake and cool down and then you can use your tin again. Yeah, and how, how long would you say the, the mixture keeps for in the fridge? Is it like pancake mix? You keep it for maybe like one or two days? Yeah, you could definitely like, if you wanted to make these for breakfast, and I do think that muffins make a perfect breakfast. Brilliant breakfast. You could make the batter the day before, like in the evening, pop it in the fridge, cover it with some cling film or something, um, and then you can just bake it off in the morning. Perfect. And then you'll have that beautiful smell of baking and first thing in the yes, morning. Exactly. Right, I'm going to stop there, otherwise I will get a bit overexcited. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see just how full they all are, which is a bit mad. And I know when we make cupcakes, we would never fill them this much, but we're making muffins. And we want that lovely big top to them. Yes. Right, I'm going to go and get the juice out of the Fabulous. fridge. Well, I'll keep everyone entertained. With my um, tell another story. I don't, don't have any more <laughs> stories. The only story I have is the one we're creating right now. Aww, <laughs> it's romantic, isn't it? <laughs> I asked Dane to marry me once. He said yes. Did I? I remember? Yes, I did. I did I it did. with a cupcake. Wedding date TBC. <laughs> <laughs> People might be angry. Why? People might want to marry me. Oh, not me. No, they might want to marry you. Yeah. Then we both be taken. This isn't a thruple here. <laughs> How you Listen, doing? I've got one more to go. So I guess also, <laughs> I've ended up with more mixture than Dane because remember, I've added in 200 grams of extra stuff with yeah. the raspberries and the chocolate, hence why I have got left over mixture. Whereas yours, it's pretty much perfect. I do have the exact amount, and I've scraped and scraped and scraped. Yeah, get it all in there. You don't want to waste anything. No. Beautiful. There we go. Okie dokie. So, is everyone, everyone's not super far behind? We're not going too fast? Hopefully not. Yeah? I mean, also, we probably talk too much, don't we? <laughs> no, no, no. People love the talking. And we have got our oven pre preheated to 200 degrees. Yes. Um, because we what, should have said that first. We should have said that first. Schoolboy error. But pop your ovens on now. And also, like Sally was just saying, they keep fine. So like, yeah. if your oven isn't preheated, leave them out on the counter until it is. Um, but this recipe is great to bake at 200 degrees. We're going to put them in for five minutes and then turn the oven down because the burst of heat will make the muffins rise up and get that lovely kind of dome on the top. These aren't kind of like the ones that spill over and they're big kind of- Like bakery muffins. Bakery muffins. Like your Costa muffins. I don't yeah. actually know what Costa muffins look like. With hey? the fan. Oh, with the 
fan. You can fan. hear the oven yes. rest really, really loud. So yeah, <laughs> with the fan, definitely. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, so you'll have to Google it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> About 20 degrees more. No, that's with the fan. The Fahrenheit is... Oh, yes. I know in America, so if you're watching in America, I'm really sorry, just Google it. What is 200 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? <laughs> Like, let's take guesses. I'm going to say it's around 400 because I think 350 is around like 175. Oh, 410. 390. 390. Put there your weapons on to 390. <laughs> Fahrenheit. Okay, right. Streusel chopping is out. It has chilled and it has firmed up now. So it's much more kind of nuggety. And now all we need to do is pop this onto our little muffins. Yes. So take a little handful and sprinkle it on top. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And you want that kind of like variation of sizes on there. It's going to look really beautiful once it's baked. If you're not doing this stage, then do not worry. They're going to bake in the same way. Yeah. And um, if you're anything like I am, sometimes doing this kind of thing, I put way too much on the first few and then I start to run out and I'm like, oh my God, I don't have enough. <laughs> but what, like, just put a little bit less. I think I've started to do it again. Like, in my head, this isn't enough for all of them. Like, it is, but maybe I put too much on the few. You can but always go, like, it. do a little bit, and then you can always go around and top it up. Yes, exactly. That's what I was saying, yes. Yum, yum, yum. These look great. Really kind oh of, like, wholesome looking, isn't it? I know. I actually can't wait to eat these yeah. because... Um, no, they're for your mum, you absolutely... Oh. <laughs> He's giving the game away. Look, if she's not watching this, she doesn't know. I didn't tell her what I'm doing today. Just said I'm at work. <laughs> I'm doing anything. Um, she doesn't know I'm baking muffins to take home. <laughs> I'm going to steal a bit of your... <laughs> Just to put on the side the of this. absolute cheek. I know, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Right, ready for oven time? Yes. Let's do this. So, let's... Um, there's something going on over here, That's technical. <laughs> so let's go over to the oven. Okay. We've got it at 200. Okay, you I'll in? go. You go there the and I'll go here on the top. And we're gonna bake for five minutes. After five minutes, we're gonna turn the oven down to 170. Do not forget to do that, because otherwise, if you bake them for 25 minutes at 200, they're gonna burn. They're gonna burn, they're gonna yes, burn. exactly. So, let's just have a little, have a little tidy. tidy up. Yes. And I don't know if any of you have got any questions or anything you want to talk to us about. There's so many comments here. Let's go through them. Oh, really? Um, lots of people just saying hello. Bart says hi to Nikki. Oh, oh little Bart. Bart we is an absolute him. superstar and super fan. He has come to many <gasps> meet and greets. Oh, look. Um, Shenna Green says, I might try an apple crumble muffin <gasps> as that's my yes. mum's favourite dessert. Yes. What are you going to do? I feel like, like Nikki is all over that. Like, that yeah. is what are you going to do? You're going to make like a little ample, 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 apple compote, yes. put it in the middle. You're just going to chop apples up and like mix them with cinnamon and yes, sugar. Yes, this is what I'm thinking. And then put little lumps of them in the muffin. Yeah, and also you mm. could, I'm sure Nikki's done this before, like after they've baked, if you make caramel, pipe the caramel in the middle, you've got like apple caramel That's muffin so crumble gush. muffins. Yeah. Gosh, gosh, sorry. I'm distracted because I feel like somebody might be coming to join us. Oh, I don't want to give the game away! <gasps> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Gemma! Happy birthday to you! Yeah, yeah, we can, we can hear, hear you. you. What's in your muffins then? Um, I've got blueberries with some lemon zest and some white chocolate <gasps> chips because that's all I've had. Oh, somebody's she enjoying them. Um... Streusel has gone in her dog. I, well, this is what I said. It's so delicious to just eat it. They look brilliant. Yeah, she's, she's, had, she's, she's licked the spoon as is <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. They look great. I love your colourful cases. Yeah, pop them in. Pop them 
morning, yeah. So 200 degrees for five minutes. All right, thank you. Sorry, I was, um, I was too busy trying to work out how to unmute myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to have to unmute myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, don't forget to put that timer on. Eden's looking lovely in her outfit. <laughs> <laughs> She's off. Oh, lovely. So, what are you going to be doing today for your birthday? You can go and ask Daddy. Go and ask Daddy. He'll put the telly on for you. <laughs> <laughs> no one puts the telly on that morning. So, um, what are we doing today? Well, this is it, really. And then I forgot. <laughs> what more could I need? Yeah, exactly. Muffins, and we're hanging out, virtually hanging out with you guys. I know. Um, this is so cool. Oh. That's it. Sounds perfect. Oh, amazing. We should make a call in the caterpillar. We should. That's the ultimate birthday cake. I know we should say that the crumbs and doilies cakes are the ultimate <laughs> birthday cake, but I mean, like, if in doubt, call in it out. Oh, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Well, we hope that you enjoy your muffins. We hope um, Eden enjoys them. Yes. And she is the next. She is the star next of Cupcake Demo. Star Baker, yeah. Hey. She, she guest appearance, but yeah, I'm really excited. We've, I promised her one for pudding. Oh, oh yes. she has yes. to wait till pudding. <laughs> <laughs> pudding could be at the end of lunch, though. Pudding That's only in a. Be. I don't have my. It's only in <laughs> soon. <laughs> Hi, Aiden. Oh. Oh, oh, bless her. Kids and animals, what do they say about? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Aiden. Hi, Aiden. Hi, Aiden. <laughs> right, we'll see you. We'll see you soon, Hi. and have a have a great birthday. Yes. Oh, she's gone. Oh. <laughs> Just like that. Bye. Oh, we're gonna have to turn out. I don't know. In fourteen, 14 seconds. seconds. Let's see. Oh, look, someone is giving the um. Temperatures without, without a fan. A fan. Great. So now we're going to turn them down to 170. So don't open the door. Whatever you do, do not open the oven door. No. Just turn that oven down to 170. 170. C, which I reckon is 340 F. Yes. Someone might want to confirm that. <laughs> and we're going to put them in for another 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you want to test that they've baked because everyone's ovens is going to be different. Um, this one is going to be different to the one over there. It's going to be different to the one at home that you've got. So you want to test them. Normally with a cupcake, we just do the little um, springy test. Yeah. So pop your finger on top and if it springs back to life, hurrah, they're made. With these, it's actually better to do it more like a cake because they're so big and thick. Um, it's better to use a skewer. So skewer or um, like a cocktail stick yeah. or a, a, a thin knife if you don't have either of these things. Yeah. Pop it right in the middle. If there's still batter on it, we need to bake it. It's not like a brownie. We don't want a bit of goo <laughs> yeah. on there. Mm -mm. Um, so just keep putting them back in the oven for like one to two minutes, minutes at a time, time yeah. until your skewer does come out clean. Yes. Yes. <laughs> lovely. And they're going to be lovely and kind of risen up really beautifully. You want a nice bit of golden colour on that as yeah. well. We're not going to make you like wait around with us for 20 minutes. <laughs> You've probably had enough of us already. I know. <laughs> so, in true TV style, here's, here's some we made earlier. earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so here they are. They're really lovely and big and, yeah um voluptuous looking they are yes <laughs> nice kind of golden color <clears throat> on the edging as well so the, i oh, don't know who's is who's that's well, the lemon the, and this is a lemon one um and i think this is a raspberry one by the looks of it so should we break them open let's break them open oh yeah look at that ah <gasps> gorgeous really fluffy in there yeah. nice big chunks of chocolate and where the raspberry is it stays nice and moist as well mm. So, shall we just... Well, let's eat one. Break a bit off and eat that. Mmm. Mm. The top is nice and crunchy. Mmm. It's very zesty. Oh. Mm. And also, I got that hit of salt. Nice, the from, the, in, from the top. From the top as mm. well, yeah. It's very nice. I just got a really nice bit of dark chocolate in there as well. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Perfect. I want to eat a raspberry bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem mm. with this kind of thing. I literally will just eat it. Mm-hmm. 
I need to, I need to, I need to. Mm. And using the olive oil in that gives it a really nice, kind of like, I would say warm flavour. Yeah. A little bit. I think it just makes it a bit more interesting than just using regular um, mm. uh, sunflower or vegetable, or vegetable oil. oil. It just gives a little bit of something else. Yeah. Which is great. Exactly. I really, really like eating these. Me too. I mean, mm. you can also like, you can jazz them up a little bit if you Are want. You You've got some jazz jam. Them off? I know. Well, I'm not going to. Well, well I. <laughs> oh, gold spray. Well, I just have some lemon curd. But you could like put it in a piping bag and like pipe them in. Best to do that like when they're kind of a little bit warm still, right? Yes. So that the piping bag gets in nice and easily and then it will kind of ooze into the hot muffin mm. as it, and then once it cools down, it's sort of spread all around the place. Yeah, mm, exactly. Yummy. Or now I would just have to take it and dip it in. This is what I thought he was going to do. I thought oh, I was just yes. going like, to dollop it on. I was like, right. Uh, yeah, no, great well, tip. Yes. I'll but just take a little he's bit. He's going to do it anyway. Oh, the crumbs in the car. I know! <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh, gosh! No, I had an extra spoon. Let you me did use this have spoon. An extra spoon. I have to get it out now. Oh, and now guys, it's a I'm lot so of sorry. Curd. This has turned into something quite different. Mm. This. Oh, mm. <laughs> I love curd. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even make it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I All right. Oh, oh, 20 oh my, minutes. yeah, 20 minutes. We did say that. I did say that, but maybe if you didn't hear, um, then yes, 20 minutes until 20 they're minutes. nice and golden and risen and the skewer comes out clean. Yeah. Another 16 minutes for us. Um, Let me see it. Someone's oh. asked how I am. I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> Lots of happy <laughs> birthday, Gemma's. Someone's asked about my classes. Oh, so yeah, during school holidays, I've done a couple of teenager cake decorating classes. So um, I will do some more of those. And if you haven't, then head over to the website bakingclasses.co.uk. That's the one. Exactly. You can sign up to the newsletter there. And then every time we release new classes, you'll get an email. So and you, do just, that. you just added a new class as well, sugar paste one. I did. There's lots of classes up at the moment, all sorts of different things. If you want to do cake decorating or more wrap piping or more baking, yeah. uh, cookies, cupcakes, chocolate cake, we got it all. <laughs> Come and join us. And it's here, it's right here in the studio too, which is exciting. And you get to put your cake in the pink snack. <laughs> <laughs> um, Virginia asks, can we put sugar on now? I'm assuming before you bake them, yes, I'd put them on then. Demerara sugar is good to add. Oh, on the top. On the top, yes. yes make that's it even lovely. More that will give like a really, really nice little crunch. Yeah. Um, Eloise? Say hi. Hey, Eloise! Leslie asks, can you do orange and chocolate instead of the lemon? Totally. Oh my gosh, chocolate orange muffins. I mean, come on. Brilliant combination. That would be delicious. Please send us a photo and let us know how those come out. <laughs> um, Bart is singing too. Oh, I hope everyone sang along. Um, Luna has done cinnamon and sugar churro muffins. Brilliant. What? Um, we need to know more about that. We do, exactly. Where's chocolate going? Oh, yeah. Mm, I love a churro. Um, churro? Churro? Churro. So many people have wished Gemma a happy birthday. She is gone now, but she says thank you. Oh, love this. Look, also have it for lunch. Who says lunch needs to be savoury? Well, exactly. Nobody says that. I mean, most people do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Most people, except the people in this room. <laughs> <laughs> um, Karen Brady says, Caitlin, age eight, has made them from Cavern in Ireland. Brilliant. Thank you for joining. All the way from Ireland. All the way from Ireland. Where's everyone from? Where's the furthest person? Yeah, where is... The person. Brazil. Brazil. We've had the Philippines. The oh, Philippines. Philippines. <gasps> Hawaii. Oh, I would oh, love to go to can't Hawaii. Can't we swap? Oh, I'm Hawaii right now. Hi, Sally and Dane. Hi, Sabrina. Passion fruit card. Ooh, my favourite. You could put passion fruit in it as well. That would look really nice, right? Could you that just put get. a bit of passion fruit in there? Yeah, the fresh passion fruit. <gasps> with, with milk the chocolate, your favourite. With milk chocolate. Exactly. <laughs> Australia down yeah. under. What time is it there? It must be late night baking. Ooh, yeah. Is it even Mother's Day in other places of the world? I think it's different. It's yeah. different. It is. Well, you can just make this for yourself. Or just make it for your mum anyway. We should celebrate our mums not just on Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I always think this. We Sorry. Tell our mums how much she... Ellen says, this is what happens when Dane tries to go simple. It all goes wrong. Ellen, I'm not sure what you're referring to here, but I don't understand what went wrong. They're in. That's yeah, Ellen. Ellen. You're thinking it. Oh, because of this. 
That's our Ellen well, with the red delicious. velvet brownies. Yes. Well, yes. Love it. <laughs> Classic. Oh, Ooh, I see. Yes, I just see Eloise. She said, can I have a shout out? Can I have a shout out? Can I have a shout out? We're shouting you out, Eloise. Um, Who else? Megan. Can it bake mm. in an oven without a fan? Yes, yes, you can. You just want to turn it up by 20 degrees. Yeah. I'm getting the Nikki nod. That's what I always look for when I'm filming. <laughs> if I'm unsure, I just look at Nikki. She's, She's got, nodding. She knows everything. <laughs> She's the brains here. <laughs> <laughs> she makes this work. Um, yes, just turn it up um, by 20 degrees and that's totally fine. Yeah. Um, Fran is from Germany. We've got Kathy in Australia. We've got Megan from South Africa. Christos in Greece. We love you, Oh, Christos. yes, you love Christos. I do. We met. He came to one of the classes. Big love. Bart is in trouble. Can you show us how to make croissants? Not me. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a tricky one. I mean... You must have learned how to make I croissants. I have. I've made Danish pastry. Oh, well, I've got my... Um, oh, I can't show you right now. Well, I can. I've got a croissant on my jumper. Wow. But he can't make them. He's a fake and a phony. <laughs> <laughs> I've made Danish pastry dough before, but I think it's a tiny bit different. We need Maybe to get someone on to do it. Like, um, we do. Like Matt. Surely Matt Adlard should come back on and show he us how to make come croissants, back on. right? He's like the best. Yeah. Please come back, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> um, Claire comes from Cornwall. <sighs> Dreamy. Cornwall is beautiful. I'll take Cornwall or Hawaii. <laughs> Either. <laughs> Do uh. you know China? I know it well. <laughs> <laughs> Never been. Maybe we should go. Ah. Uh. Someone's baking in all their merch. That's oh, very cool. Head over to cupcakejammer.com where you can get all the, um, we don't have any of it on right now. All the oven gloves. Oh, the oven gloves. Uh, yes. And actually, I do believe that if you sign up to Patreon, you get 10% 10 10 off. off. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's face then was like, what's she going to say? <laughs> you get yeah, face off. No, you do. You get 10% off. So another reason to join. And don't forget, the next Bake Along will be in two weeks' time. I think that's the 23rd two of weeks. March. Yes. On Saturday, Gemma yeah. will be back, I believe. And that will be over on Patreon. So patreon.com forward slash Cupcake Gemma. There's three different tiers that you can sign up to. Um, like Dane mentioned, a few yeah. of the things... Previously, um, the, the general, the main bake club is where you get the bake along. So do head over there. There's loads of extra content. Um, it's super duper fun. And it also just, yeah, it really helps to support our channel and what we do. We thank you so much anyway for watching all our videos and for tuning in today. Like, there's so many of you. This is like, this is I had brilliant. no idea. I I thought, oh, maybe there'll be like 10 people. It'll be, like, <laughs> it'll be my mom, it'll be my brother. <laughs> um, but there's loads of you. So thank you so much for giving up your time on a Saturday morning. I hope you yeah. really enjoyed it. It's been really fun. Yeah, we've enjoyed baking along with you. Yes, better than Saturday Kitchen, right? Well, Saturday Kitchen is, is, is great. It's great. It is great. But why watch that when you can watch us? <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. Don't forget yeah. to share your photos with us as well once your muffins come out. Yeah. Um, let them cool down a little bit. Some people like to eat them when they're warm. Of course you can do that. But please share your photos on Instagram, hashtag Cupcake Gemma. Or if you're already part of the Patreon, then you can share stuff there, I yeah, think. There'll yeah, there'll be a chat we'll group that. where um, you can put them in there and we'll all discuss and it's really fun. Um, but yeah, follow us on Instagram as well, at Cupcake Gemma, because you can see what we will be baking in a couple of weeks' time, and we'll put the ingredients there so you can get prepared. Yes. Yeah. Let us know how you get on. We hope you love this. We've really loved being here. Yeah. Thank you to Sam, who's holding the camera. Probably needs to rest his arms. He's a strong boy. He's fine. <laughs> 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 and thank you to Jess and Nikki as well for making sure that everything's working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and happy birthday, Gemma. Yes. I hope you have a great day. Brilliant. And have a great rest of the weekend. And happy Mother's Day to all you lovely mums out there. We yes. love you. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs>